bright duty every student matters hello dear students welcome to another lecture in this class we are going to learn how to attempt section a that is the reading comprehension of your uh, class 8th nagaland board now when we talk about reading comprehension reading comprehension is aimed at increasing the comprehension skills of the students you know the purpose behind giving you unseen passages or poems in your paper is for the examiner to know how well you are able to comprehend yes now with the help of these reading comprehension the examiner is able to examine you judge you on the basis of your general reading. learning your literature chapters writing their answers is something which is you know mechanized reading because your teachers make you learn and they tell you every word and every meaning of the same but when it comes to the reading comprehension the passages or the poems that you get are unseen and therefore it requires every child's own intelligence and intellect to answer those questions now you all know that when it comes to class 8 the reading comprehensions will have questions that will be based on the multiple choice questions other than the multiple choice questions you can expect questions that can be based on the vocabulary you know finding the words which mean the same as something or which mean the opposite to something filling in the blanks on the basis of what you've read in the passage answering whether the sentence is true or false even answering the questions which are given to you on the basis of how well you've understood the passage so these are the different types of questions that might be asked from you when you go for your papers now one piece of advice that you always need to keep in mind when attempting section a that will help you in the long run whenever you attempt section a please make sure that you always keep a pencil in your hand and you keep on underlining whatever important or difficult points or words you come across because these words or these important points will help you to understand and interpret the passage better and also get the answers to your questions so in this class i'm going to take up a couple of unsolved passages from your book only to make you understand how to attempt section a better so the first passage let us start for years and years far back as one can remember man had wanted to fly to go up into the clouds and feel like a bird before 1903 inventors had tried to fly by going up in the air in balloons and gliders so before 1903 inventors they tried to use the balloons and gliders to go into the sky but first successful aircraft was uh, to be used was designed by two brothers called orrin and wilbur wright also known as the wright brothers for hours the brothers worked and experimented in their little workshop in the backyard of their house and finally came out with an aircraft that they flew on 10 december 1903 so the first aircraft that they invented they flew that on 10 december 1903 we have advanced and discovered so much more since that time and today we have even conquered the moon the earlier aeroplanes were all propeller driven but today's planes use jet engines so this is the mechanics of the airplanes we no longer have slow speed aircraft supersonic jet planes are the order of the day we use supersonic jet planes keeping pace with the fast life we get 
uh, air travel has become one of the most comfortable and sought after ways of traveling as it saves time and energy. With more and more private operators entering the arena, this area, this field, air travel has also become more affordable. So with more competition, the air travel has become now affordable for everyone. We can listen to music, watch television and relax on a flight with air hostesses and stewards attending to every need of ours. Passengers are spoiled for choice as there are numerous airlines to choose from. The world has indeed grown smaller and easily accessible with the invention of aeroplanes because it is easier for you to connect to people who might be living in some other state, city or even country. Now you see, while reading this passage for you all, I continued to underline the words or the phrases that I thought were important. Let us now look at the questions based on them. So, on the basis of your reading of the passage, answer the questions that follow. The first successful aircraft were designed by Oliver Wright and his brother Wilbur Wright. So, it is both A and B. The first aircraft was successfully flown on 10 December 19, sorry. This camouflaged a bit for me. So, 10 December 1903. The early aeroplanes, what did they use? They used propeller driven. They were propeller driven. Air travel is the most sought after way of traveling. Sought after means most of the people prefer to use aeroplanes for traveling because it is comfortable and it saves time. Air travel has become more affordable now. The air tickets have got cheaper because of the competition among the private operators. There are a lot of companies entering into this business now. Which word means in the passage within reach? Within reach, accessible. For you, this question is to judge or to you know, examine how much your vocabulary. So, this is assessing your vocabulary now. How has the invention of airplanes made the world smaller? Because no place in the world is now inaccessible. Yes, you can go anywhere. It is possible to reach far off places quickly. So, both A and B. So you see, my dear students, we read about the airplanes, we underlined the words and the phrases that we thought were important and it was very easy for us to answer the questions which were based on it. Let us look at the second passage now. Let us start reading. A satellite is a heaven which revolves around a planet, moon the satellite of Earth. This satellite is Mother Nature's gift to man. Besides the moon, there are many other satellites that revolve around the earth. These satellites have been created by man and hence are known as satellites. They are used for various purposes. Have you ever wondered what happens to the artificial satellites that have outlived their usefulness and have been abandoned? Outlived their usefulness abandoned means those satellites which are now no longer in use. What happens to them? They continue to orbit the earth. Orbit, they continue to move around the earth and may do so for thousands of years. If they orbit at a height of about 400 kilometers or less, they lose velocity, their speed is going to get less and in course of time, due to vision, uh, with dust particles. So, if their velocity is, uh, sorry, if their height is 400 kilometers or less, their velocity, their speed automatically reduces because of the dust particles and the friction. They gradually 
spiral towards the earth so they will keep on spiraling around the earth and will burn up when they enter the atmosphere sometimes some pieces hit the earth also satellites have electronic transmitters that send signals to the earth so once they have completed their mission and are about to be abandoned scientists switch off the electronic transmitters this is done to prevent the signals from disrupting transmissions from other satellites so once the satellite task is done they send a signal to the earth and the scientists they turn off the electronic transmitters and this is done to prevent the signals from disrupting the transmission from the other satellites many countries have put their satellites up in space for better telecommunication purposes the international telecommunion would like all satellites that are low down to be pushed up before they are abandoned so that they do not fall back to the earth so they want the height of these abandoned satellites to be increased so that they don't fall onto the earth but this is hardly done because countries have lost control over it. man has created many space wonders which orbit the earth for many years some of them fall back on the earth while others continue to wander they continue to roam around in the space so this passage was about the satellites now let us look at the questions and try to find their answers a satellite is a heavenly body that what does a satellite do does it revolve around the sun no does it revolve around a planet as we have read already if you look at the first paragraph of this passage clearly in the very first line that a satellite revolves around a planet satellites created by men are known as artificial satellites now satellites that have outlived their usefulness that have done whatever they had to what happens to them they are no longer useful have lived longer than the purpose for which they were created both a and b or are more useful than before so what are these satellites a they are no longer useful and b they have outlived that is they have survived for the more uh, for the purpose that they were created for so that purpose has already been solved scientists switch off the electronic transmitters of the satellites that have completed their missions why do they switch off the electronic transmitters otherwise they interfere with the telecommunication of the aeroplanes no they interfere with the signals of the other satellites to orbit means to move around an object in a circular motion most countries put up their satellites in space why it is clearly written for their telecommunication purposes and satellites that orbit at least a height of 400 kilometers or less lose their velocity why do their speeds reduce because of the friction with the dust particles so you see my dear students we discussed two unsolved passages of your book we just read them i underlined all the important phrases information words that i came across and using the same i was able to identify their answers so this is exactly how you are also supposed to do it so i hope it is now clear how to attempt the reading comprehension so practice more there are solved passages also given so first begin with the solved passages and then begin move on to the unsolved passages in order to gain confidence in section a so my dear students i'm going to pause here now and i will see you all now in my next lecture thank you